and I used to do that, you know, after leave office like a uh, six o'clock the after the evening, and then uh, don't finish chart until 10 30, uh, 11 o'clock at night. Uh, obviously, I don't have to worry about it, so uh, I just go home and uh, enjoy the rest of the you know uh, my evening with family, go on to dinner, and then uh, you know places. Uh, you know that's uh, what it's supposed to feeling. I think. My name is Paul Chu. I am a, a interventional pain physician here in Los, uh, Los Angeles, California, United States. Uh, I've been doing interventional pain for over the past 15 years. And that uh, my office is a very busy, a dynamic practice where we have uh, a lot of patients that go through and uh, uh, writing report to different referral sources. I'm old school, so actually I don't know how to type very efficiently. So as my practice uh, uh, began to uh, to grow, I would have to enter, uh, write a lot of those notes on my uh, electronic medical records and type out every single thing uh, that I needed to uh, pertinent to each individual patient. And that, uh, uh, that consumed quite a bit of time. I mean, I remember taking chart home uh, staying up till you know 10 30 11 at night just to finish all the charts for the day because we didn't want to fall behind and that just kept going you know on a daily basis i would have to uh, go finish a chart and up for dinner time then after dinner time instead of spending time with my family i would have to go and finish the charts so uh more so is my wife who said that why you know how come so much work are you bring home uh you can't you can't really uh enjoy the, you know after work we are specialists so uh we know how difficult it is for patients to come to see us and wanted to really discuss their conditions so they want to really spend as much as time possible discussing their pain conditions i did not become a physician to just to say you have 10 minutes and that's all the more time we spend with the patient obviously the less time for me to finish the chart and the chart has to be comprehensive not just for me but other for referral doctors or some other uh entities we tried actually uh dictation by uh, Dragon, uh, but the cost was prohibited for my practice in terms of each individual practitioner would have to pay like a three, four thousand dollars for the for to, to start the licensing. And then uh, out of frustration, of course, trying to uh, make my job more efficient, I went online and looked for something to to help out and Fresh Expander uh, popped up. I don't know exactly when was that, but it was early in the, you know, early within, the, I would say within the next, you know, following four to six month interval, where suddenly uh, I don't find myself needing to take the chart home. I can just go home and the chart is, you know, is, is pretty much done. So at that moment, obviously, you know that you've made a right decision to use it and that uh, that is helping you because otherwise uh, it would be impossible right because of the, and then we see that the, the charts are, are uh we see more patients so that there's more charts and then uh things are, are getting done uh in a much quicker way yes probably over the past two three years two years plus i don't stay late in the office and that uh, i don't need to take a chart home and i think the chart uh quality has improved significantly because uh, each of the patients uh, is tailored to each patient's uh, individual concern. Three hours per day, that's uh, five days a week, that's 15 hours uh, of week that are uh, easily saved. And that uh, it just multiplied by you know, 52 weeks out of, the, out of the year. So it's just uh, tremendous. I definitely recommend someone who uh, uh, is in a very busy practice and that uh, uh, it's not very good with typing, and you want to have a really uh, outstanding report. This is definitely a uh, a solution that uh, you know you, you must look into. It.